Hey guys, welcome to a brand new series. This is another installment of my top 10 favourite games of all time. This is World Snooker Championship 2005. Now, I've actually had to turn my telly off because the reflection of the green on me has made me invisible uh, if I've got the telly on. So I currently can't hear any audio, but that's absolutely fine. Um, now, the plan for this sort of episode I guess is to play one match of the World Championship qualifiers obviously it's the World Snooker Championship starting on Saturday and I will have a preview video out maybe even at some point tonight once uh, I, th I think the draw might take place tomorrow or it might have already took place I'm recording this in advance okay I'm Joe if you're new around here and if you do want to see a full series of World Snooker Championship then please leave a like and if we hit 20 likes I will definitely do more than one video on this but I'm playing it on the PS3 you can actually buy PS2 games on the PS3 um, which is cool I'm not gonna go in and go through the character creation stuff um, again but uh, what we'll actually do is we'll go to the career mode um, and uh, continue the, the, the tour um, and there you go uh, I'm actually already um, well, why don't we continue with that? I've already qualified for the Crucible, so I'm playing Ali Carter in round one, best of 19 frames. Uh, this, this is why I think it is the best um, Snooker game, because you can play best of 19 in the first round, best of 25 in the second and quarter finals, uh, best of 33 in the semis, best of 35 in the final. You can't do that in any other Snooker game after this, so World Snooker Championship 2007, 2009, 2011, you can play a maximum of 25 frames, I think it is. But um, there we go, already we've got Stephen Hendry through, beating John Higgins 10 3. And then we've got Ronnie O'Sullivan beating Graham Dot 10 9 in a repeat of the 2004 World Snooker final. Uh, Mark Williams has beaten Ken Doggerty. 10-5, Paul Hunter has beaten Peter Ebden 10-1, we're playing Ali Carter, Alan McManus is playing Chris Small and Steve Davis is playing Matthew Stevens. So without further ado, I'll hand over to uh, either John Virgo, John Parrott or Steve Davis in the commentary box and we'll get on with the first session of this match. Welcome to the great arena that is the Crucible for this first round tie then. So here we go, at the start, you can see, oh, I, I've, I've pressed the analog stick. <laughs> I remember, you, <laughs> you were able to actually use the analog stick um, to do that. I'm assuming we're just going to get pushed back. Yeah. Uh, but we've got John Virgo and uh, John Parrott in the commentary box. We've got Jan Verhaas. um actually refereeing. This is the Crucible Arena. I actually sat up in that uh, sort of back row if you can you can see there um, and watch Ronnie O'Sullivan a few years ago you can see Ali Carter over there uh, World Snooker this is the old set um, and we're obviously playing on table two so yeah here we go um, this is quite a quite a throwback for me to, to be quite honest with you um, I may have forgot how to play this game uh, but I do play quite a bit of snooker in real life. I uh, snooker is actually my favourite sport. You know, it's a, a football manager channel, but uh, I do I, I do play snooker more more often than any other sport. Uh, and here we go. Let's see how we break off for the first time. And I, I tell you what, this is a pretty damn good break off to start us off. And I think we might have actually. Uh, got that tight on the ball cushion and we've got a, a red over the corner so here's Ali Carter now the plan is I'll probably play the first couple of frames and then we'll throw it open to you guys what kind of series do you want to see you know I'd be quite happy to just do proper sessions so um, you know so obviously nine frames uh, you would get in the first session of the first round uh, oh, I don't like that. We'll we'll actually uh, play a run through. We'll play it a little bit softer and hopefully get out onto the blue. Um, so yeah, there's our character. Um, 
But you know, it, it's 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 fairly good graphics for two thousand and four, whenever the it was uh, when this came out. We can actually play the pink here, and I can reach it, so won't be using the rest. I'm pretty useless with the rest, to be honest. But my highest break is a sixty-seven clearance, uh, which I pulled off one time, um, not consistently. Uh, that high scorer, you know, probably 20s, 30s is me, me general high break on a, uh, a visit to the, the snooker club. Um, but to be honest with you, me commentating over this, it doesn't feel right when we've got uh, John Parrott and John Virgo in the commentary box. So I'll try not to um, interrupt them too much. I think you're wrong. Now, what always used to happen to me on this game, whenever I smacked into the pink off the blue, a red would go in. So let's see what happens here. Let's have a look. All the white goes in. Yep. It happens every single time. I thought, well, maybe, you know, a few more years of experience on this game, or, or just in life of snooker, maybe that'll help us. But here we go. Ali Carter going for this one down the cushion. This is a risky shot, and he has missed it uh, already oh, there. Me. He's missed the pot. Nah, he's missed that nasty one. He's got the cue ball in a good place too. Probably want a bit of uh, right-hand side on this. We are going to absolutely smack this and try and get onto the black. It is pretty straight, though, so it's going to be difficult. But there you go, that little bit of right-hand side just helping us along there. Um, mm. Now then, what do we go for? I mean... The thing is, yeah, you, you know, the lines being on the table does make this a fairly easy game, but you don't get the positional aid. That's what you get in later games, and... That, that's a, another thing I really love about this game is that it's authentic. It is a, a snooker simulator, um, so to speak. That one might you know, um, it's very difficult in a game of being in position for another black. To, to replicate real life. But he's not got a position to speak of. Uh, to replicate real life. So, you know, without the lines on the table, it would be an incredibly difficult game because, You'd be pleased to see you know... Ball drop. Nine. It's a game at the end of the day, so. Into the fire. Another tricky shot here. It is another tricky shot, and these are difficult. These little blacks in in real life as well as in the game, and I think that's well represented. You know, um, sort of when you're right behind the ball, you get a longer line, and that's sixteen. Sort of representative of um, real life. Available. Decisions, decisions. You know, if I'm right behind this red, it's going to be a lot easier to lead him to his next red than if uh, you know I'm in the position I'm in now. I'm going to just play a little stun run through here and try and get on the black again. Oh, he nearly missed that. Any harder, and that wouldn't have went in. Pointed to be going for black again. But you see, a shot like this is generally very easy. Um, you know, on a, on a snooker table, if you if you play a regular amount of snooker you're going to pop that 9 out of 10 <laughs> again a, a, another fairly easy shot you just got to be careful with these ones not to catch that near jaw because they won't go in um, if you do that 25 this is a, a fairly nice decent start red from here. I really didn't expect to, to be competing this quickly uh, in the game and obviously I really don't know how this is going to go down you know a snooker game on YouTube, I'm not sure of anybody else that actually does them, so uh, it could be monumentally successful, which I'd absolutely well, love because at the very least he's got a bit of pot in practice there. this is the sort of game that I could do daily. You know, it's it's, black, it's sure. such a good game. Will he have a um, plant? It's a risky one. I mean, the the plant is quite tempting because now, if you're not into snooker, plant is is basically I can use this red to to knock the other red in. <laughs> Uh, which you're perfectly allowed to do in the laws of the game. Um, I mean, this red, I'm going to go up for green, yellow, or black, brown here. The The tricky thing about snooker has, has never been potting the balls. Um, 
it's it's getting on to your next red or color. So, you know, I think that's very well represented in this game. Um, and obviously, with a positional aid, you, you don't get that. You can turn it off, but um, it's not quite the same. Not quite the same. And when you can't play full simulation world championships, best shot, but he'll probably settle for it. You know, it's not. It's not authentic for me. 38. That's a nice shot. It's a uh, we are slightly position. the wrong side of the blue. Um, so I might actually play the brown. Oh, I can't reach it. If I could reach that, which I could in real life, um, I would have played the, the brown there, but we might just screw back on the green. Can we get into it enough? Um, but then again, what are we playing on there? Do you know what I mean? Uh, we might we might just sort of run run through off two cushions on the blue get on that red next to the blue hopefully that was a nice blue so through the the gap we might have snookered ourselves here we might have to take that plant if we want to continue the break and we will indeed have to play that plant this is risky because this is bringing everything into play. Oh, this this is tough, and you know you can't get behind the shot. Can't really line it up. This is tough, but I'm playing it. And there you go. I missed it. And now we've left him in amongst the balls. So we've got a lead of fifty. Uh, sorry, forty-two there, and uh, still. Plenty of reds on the table, so Ali Carter, it's now over to you. And we'll watch him play this. We're almost 10 minutes into the video. Depending on how quick these sort of first two frames go, I might play the first four and then we'll go into the mid session interval and end this episode. Good shot. Nine. You'll know he might be running out of chance. And these blacks are difficult in real life, certainly missable, but on the game, probably wouldn't expect him to miss it. And he's brought everything into play now. The only tricky shot you would say is maybe the pink, but I don't think you'll need it. Good shot into the middle there. Seventeen. He's controlled the cue ball now. I'd be playing the blue here, but he's obviously. Not feeling too confident yet, leaving himself mid range shots. Any of these could be missed. He might well get a lovely shot at the black from here. They are difficult games. Because you do generally get punished and I think that's just come out enough for the, the, the black there. Well he'll be pleased that at the very least. Delicate little shot. Twenty eight. Yeah, again, a mid-range shot, and I don't think that black goes into the uh, into the left corner. So he's gonna have to go up for for brown or blue here, and he has done. <clears throat> and yellow's probably the shot. He's playing the brown with the rest now. In real life, that wouldn't be the shot. Look how much side he's put on that. <laughs> that was pretty ridiculous. And he's now only nine points behind. So. Good shot there. Four. He'll be just fine if the cue ball doesn't misbehave. This could be a critical break. He's 41. And I don't see us getting another shot in this frame, so... No reason why he can't get nicely onto the black again from here. 42. Once again, the black well, probably he is. the best option. He is pretty straight on this. I don't see how he's going to get on the yellow. Let's let's just watch this. Well, lots of screw back, and that's a fabulous shot from uh, Ali Carter there. I feeling this one's going to the death. He's now shot. seven points ahead. Twenty-seven available. He needs yellow, green, brown, and blue to go one nil up. 51. Crowd of Clapham because he's got a 50 break. 
and 54. Yeah. I, I, as I say, I think he is going to clean up here, which, you know, I said that plant was risky and we were leaving him in amongst no it. And... Brown, oh, there's a white. Oh. Lucky. Now then. The frame's safe. The blue goes in, and all he's got to do really is uh, sink this pink all over the corner, in or over, as we say in the industry. But well, he'll be pleased that yeah, he's potted it. So, Ali Carter, with a lovely break of 76 there, goes 1 0 up and punishes us. For that uh, mistake. Want to consolidate the lead while the other will want to keep in touch. And now Ali Carter breaks. So let's see how his break goes. I mean, pretty, pretty standard, but he has hit the green on his break off now. Can we see enough of this? I think we can, you know. I think we can see enough of this to play it as a, a shot of nothing. And that's where... You know, you play a long shot, but you, you you get the white back to the safety area back here. Um, so if you miss it, uh, it, it's not likely that you're going to leave anything. So this is uh, that type of shot. And as you can see, I've potted the red, but i got the, the white back up in the box. So the only red I could leave was the one I was playing. Um, the thing is, though... I think we might just touch them behind the brown here because we're not going to get on another red. Let's let's be honest about that. So let's just touch them in behind the the brown and snooker them. Well, and there you go. He snookered his opponent. And if we've played it well enough, we'll have got rid of the one cushion escape. Um. And. Well, maybe we haven't. Maybe he's going to play two cushion. I'm really not sure. It's always hard trying to get out of a snooker without leaving yourself open. Well, I don't know why he played there. Foul. I'd love to see a replay of that. Shall we? Shall we have a little look? Um, I'm very confused at what he played here. Let's just uh, have a look. So. I don't know what he's trying. What on earth was that? That was a silly shot, but foul the miss. We're obviously going to pull him back. So, surely he won't play that shot again. No, he's, he's uh, seen sense this time. And this looks like a more conventional route, maybe three cushions. Well, I don't know what that was. I really don't know what that was. Put too much emphasis on the positioning and not enough on the pot. And now he's given us a chance. And, you know, we, we've got to punish him this time because we we got two bites of the cherry um, in the first frame and we didn't take either of them. So we go now go and... It's a good pot, and things might just start to open up in front of him here. I reckon we go go and try and get a big break here. Black. Just drop this in; should be absolutely fine. Nine. Where's the pink spot? To be going for black again. I was trying to see whether the pink would be worth taking, but I don't think so. We can play off the off the cushion and, and into those reds. Nice pot on the black. Well, we, we have just slipped past them, 60. so that was a little bit of an error from me, but absolutely Nicely fine. Wasn't easy to get the pot and the position. And we can we pot this, this one. Should give it up. All right, John. Nineteen ninety one world champion. Come on. Seventeen. I'm pretty sure he's going to attack the black. Hmm. Now then, can we? I think we we can probably screw this in behind the red and and out out again. Oh, we just kissed the red, but luckily we had the other one. Now then, nicely there. If I want to be sure, Bordy, and go for the one four seven maximum, which I do, I'm going to play this red here now. It is a bit harder, 
and we might well miss this. But we're going to try it. Good shot. Oh, oof, it's just pulled up. Probably settle for it. It's just pulled up, and we are on this this black now. It's amazing muscle memory. How I I, I just remember all the controls for this. Goodness me. Thirty-two. The white ran away from us there. I reckon he's got a good chance of being in position for another black. This red should give him the requisite angle for the black, which in turn will leave him on... Requisite? That's a big word. 33. So, good shot, but this will be five reds and five blacks. If we want a 147, it'll have to be 15 reds and technically 16 blacks, once you've cleared the colours. But uh, we're, we're, we're virtually a third of the way there, but that is end of break. What a terrible shot! The ball excellently, but he's not got a position that, to speak. Of. I mean, I'm I'm tempted well, by this. Some work there. And you know, real life going for the one four seven, I would probably go for this as well. But then, do we play the double? Hmm. <coughs> Well, shall we just go for it, guys, and and, and I, I, I accept the consequences of, of maybe losing the frame again. We're going to bring all these reds into play. We might get on the black. It's there. It's there, and ha we've got the look. 41. We've got the look. We're on the we're on the uh, the black, and we've got the angle to go into those four reds. I can't believe we didn't move them at all with this. But let's have a look at it. From the the sort of TV cam, and there you go. The but that red has gone up towards um, the side cushion, which means it's going to be difficult to to get later on. Um, now then, a one four seven on this game. I'm pretty sure I only ever did it once, so it would be pretty amazing to do it on me second frame back. A decent break that. <sighs> Lots of reds on the side cushion. Uh, actually, we can't get the 147. I'm a complete and utter idiot. We can't get the 147. I potted a red. Um, <laughs> I potted the shot of nothing, didn't I? You guys think I'm a complete idiot now. And if, you, if, if you're into your studio, you've probably already commented uh, on this. So we might as well go pink um, and just finish off the frame here. Um, I can't believe I've done that. I'm going to go with this red. I know you probably wouldn't in real life. You'd go for the one closest to the cushion, but I think that's... Ooh, we're playing left-handed. That's something I would do in real life. I do like playing left-handed every now and then, because I'm, I'm not good with the rest, so... I'd rather play left-handed than with the rest. So, for example, this shot I'd be playing left-handed. He's picking up points like a vacuum cleaner here. Oh, we muck that one up. And we can't reach that one. So I'm going to have to play this, this one back into a blind pocket, which is always difficult. Always difficult. And we could well go in off off this pink here. But we've controlled it nicely. He's well in the lead and can relax and a that, little. That is frame ball. Because once this brown goes in, there'll only be 67 more points available. 67. And this is a, a good break, to be honest with you. I don't know what Ali Carter was doing um, before. With the sort of smash into the, the pack from the snooker, but... 68. Hey-o. Play the green here, probably. Might have missed this. No. 71. And that really puts the, the frame beyond any sort of doubt. So, might as well play some more extravagant shots now. And try and screw this back for the blue. 
There we go. 62. Lovely shot there. We even get a replay for it. I'll sort of drop this in. Bit of a stun run through. And then uh, hopefully get on that red just above the black. 77. Good shot. Screw back slightly for the black. Eight. It's a little bit straighter than I would have liked, so we'll play the pink here. Try and drop on that red on the upper side of the tail. Oh, we missed the pink. That's such a shame. We could have had the sentry there, but 78, that'll be enough to get frame two. So have 23 minutes. Um, that's two fairly long frames. Um, so I tell you what, I think we'll leave it there for this first episode. And you guys know what to do if you want to see an episode two. If you have enjoyed that, make sure you do leave a like down below. It really does help out the channel, and especially on part ones. Share it to anybody you think might be interested in watching some World Snooker Championship 2005. And hopefully I'll be back with this game with a future episode. Because I think it would be really fun, you know, especially with the World Championship starting on Saturday. Who do you think will win the champion World Championship 2018? My money's probably on Ronnie or, or Selby again, to be quite honest with you. But uh, anyway, subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.